Okay, let's do it. Back in the 70s. Larry was a rock star to the, to the square dancing crowd. It was like Liberace. Liberace. Yeah, I think they used to call him <laughs> Little Liberace. Uh, Larry bought from a guy by the name of Nudie, who built all the costumes for Liberace. He used to spray his hair white to look more distinguished. Larry had somewhat the same look, so we, we always used to kid him that to entertain with Liberace. We all thought nobody's going to know the difference. Larry kind of fit the profile of a drug dealer. He was a very powerful force. You drive a big black Cadillac. Huge wad of bills, diamond rings on your fingers. But he would go into a club or an establishment and every, every head would turn. He had the product and he knew how to sell it. Uh, he was the number one at what he did. Probably drew uh, bigger crowds than anyone. He was a fantastic entertainer. Uh, Larry opened Disneyland. He kept the airlines uh, solvent back in the <laughs> 70s. He went all over the world, China, Europe, uh, introducing square dancing to different cultures. Square dancing was a heritage of the U.S., you know, the old cowboy era. Step forward, turn through, and a walk out, make a wave, and boys trade. Boys trade.